Welcome to Ask Cobb, answering your frequently asked questions on camera. We take you step by step through topics that you want to know about. This is Ask Cobb. Hey guys, this is Ian, and welcome to episode two of Ask Cobb. You know, there's nothing better than adding some more power to your car. Whether you're bolting on some downpipes, adding a front mount intercooler, or something as simple as plugging in the Cobb access port. The N54 powered BMWs respond amazingly well to tuning. But this increased power has caused some owners to experience misfire issues. Diagnosing and repairing a BMW can seem like a pretty daunting task, but fixing the typical misfire is fairly straightforward. On this episode, we'll answer our customers' two most frequently asked questions. After tuning my N54, why do I get misfires and why is the life of my plug reduced? Then I'll walk you through diagnosing and repairing this problem. There are two main reasons why misfires happen, spark plug gap and bad or worn out coils. Each time a spark happens, there is a loss of metal on a molecular level on the ground. And over time, that loss adds up to the point where the gap between the electrode and the ground becomes greater and greater, and thus the spark itself has a bigger hurdle to overcome. So let's take a look at this example. This line is the amount of time the coil has to recharge between revolutions. This is the hurdle the spark has to jump over from the electrode to the ground. So say at idle with a normal plug, the coil recharges and has plenty of energy to enable the spark to jump over the hurdle, then has ample time to recharge for the next jump. All is good. Now on a plug that has a wide gap, the size of the hurdle has dramatically increased, making it harder for the spark to jump over it. Now take that bad plug scenario and increase the RPMs with aggressive driving or tuning and the recharge time for the coil is reduced. Now when the spark tries to jump over the hurdle, sometimes there isn't enough charge in it and it can't make the jump, creating a misfire. As far as the coil goes, it's very simple. Either it fails as parts do, or it's simply worn out due to wear and tear. So these are the reasons why many people see misfire issues on a tuned car and not on the stock mapping. Although as the parts continue to degrade, even the stock mapping will have misfire issues. One more note, the BMW maintenance schedule calls for the spark plugs to be changed every 45,000 miles. But in our experience, with a tuned car and aggressive driving, this interval should probably be closer to 25,000 miles. So before we start to disassemble anything, we want to use the access port to read the check engine codes. So first, connect your AP, then scroll down to troubleshooting, click OK, and then scroll down to read codes and click OK again. Here you're going to see a description of the codes and what the actual code is. So in this case we have a P29CF code which means we have a cylinder 3 misfire. So there are two possible issues for misfires, the spark plugs or the coils. We recommend starting out with the coils. By swapping them out first you could save some money by not replacing good spark plugs. Then if the problem persists you just replace the spark plugs. The tools you'll need are an 8mm driver, a 5mm hex driver, a long extension, a torque wrench, a flathead screwdriver, and a BMW specific plug tool. So the first step is to remove the plastic covers on both sides of the engine bay next to the cabin filter. Let's start with the driver side. You'll just grab these two plastic tabs, lift them up and outwards, and then you'll be able to lift the plastic cover and remove the rubber grommet on the back side. And then do the same thing on the passenger side. Just lift both clips out and up and the cover should come right off. Then we're going to disconnect the sensor. Just pull up on both wiring harness tabs. Then push in the clip on the wiring plug and pull directly backwards to remove. And now we're going to remove the cabin filter and loosen the cabin filter tray. You'll need an eight millimeter driver and we're going to remove eight bolts, six on the cabin filter and two on the tray. So now just remove the cabin filter and set it off to the side. So in the next step, we're going to remove the wiring harness and wire loom from underneath the cabin filter tray. You'll use a flathead screwdriver to help pry off the clips. 
On the wiring harness, you'll just pull it straight out. It'll take a little bit of force, but it'll pop right out. Set it aside and you'll be able to access the clips for the loom. And the next step will remove the cabin filter tray. You don't need any tools to do this. You just have to pull two rubber tabs out of the way. Just pull it towards the outside of the car. And then wiggle the tray out. Now we're going to remove the engine cover. You'll need a five millimeter driver and we're going to remove four engine cover bolts. Three are clearly seen on the top and one is located in the back corner near the passenger side. For the last bolt, you might need an extension. So now we're going to remove the engine cover. Underneath that, you'll be able to see the tops of the coil packs. You can now clearly see cylinders one through six. So we know the problem was in cylinder three. So we're going to take the coil from number three and swap it with number two. To remove the coil pack, grab the top of the connector and pull it up until it clicks. Then push back to unseat the connector and pull it off to the side. Now use any driver to go through the hole and pull straight up until the coil pack pops off. Then we're gonna set it to the side and do the same for cylinder number three. Now we're gonna swap it to cylinder two and just set it back in the hole and push down until it's firmly seated on the plug and do the same for three. Then reinsert the connector and push until the clip comes back down at an angle and then just snap it back into place. So the next step would be to put the car back together and go drive it the same way that caused the code to be thrown before. If the problem follows the coil pack, then you know the coil pack is bad and needs to be replaced. If the problem stays in the same cylinder, then you know it's isolated to that cylinder and it may be the spark plug. Now we're going to remove the spark plug. You will need the BMW specific spark plug tool and a long extension. Make sure the socket is seated properly on the spark plug and then remove. So now we're going to reinstall the spark plug. You'll need a new spark plug and a torque wrench set to 17 pound feet. Insert the plug and hand tighten it until you feel it seat against the top of the head. Make sure to use the proper torque specifications. If you over tighten the spark plug, you could damage the head. So now we're going to reinsert the coil pack and do the same for all the other plugs. Now reassemble the car and drive the same way that caused the code to be thrown before. In most cases, replacing the spark plugs and or coil packs will resolve the misfire issue. In the rare case where you still have a misfire, it might be related to an injector problem, bad carbon buildup, or another mechanical ailment. So the first step is to reinstall the engine cover. Make sure you don't pinch this foam in the back. And now I'll reinstall the four five millimeter hex bolts into the engine cover, hand tight.
In the next step, we're going to reinstall the cabin filter tray. Slide it in at an angle. And then make sure to get the wiring loom back into the holder. It might take a little finessing. Once it's in place, snap the clips. Now that the tray's in place, just snap in the rubber tabs to hold it in. And now clip the wiring harness back into place. Make sure to line up these tabs, and then it should snap right in. Now that the electrical harness is in place, use the two finely threaded eight millimeter bolts to bolt down the cabin filter tray. Now we're going to reinstall the cabin filter. Make sure to gently insert these screws or else you could strip out the plastic. And now just reinstall the plastic side covers. On the passenger side, remember to reconnect the connector. If you still have any questions, you can always give us a call or shoot us an email to tech at cobtuning.com. So that's it for this episode. With either fresh spark plugs or new coil packs, your misfire should be a thing of the past. Thanks again for joining us on this episode, and if you have any questions you'd like answered on camera, all you have to do is ask Cobb. Do you have questions you'd like answered on camera? Email them to askcobb at cobtuning.com.